Answers in Genesis. According to Genesis and established scientific facts, the six of the six days of creation could not have been billions of years of time. Or could it? Let's talk about it right here today on Justified by Score. Could the universe be thousands of years old? Yes, I guess you can posit that, but you know, let's let's wait a little bit and we'll get into some evidence. But uh, let's ask this question though: Could the universe be billions of year old? Eh, I believe there may be a possibility, but let's discuss how, where, when, and why. If we look at day one, God created the heavens and the earth. And then he separated the light from the darkness, and there was no sun and moon. So, how long was day one? And no, 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 I do not believe in a gap theory, but rather that it is possible that this time frame could be longer than a day in which we currently understand it now. If there is no sun and there is no moon, what is the standard of measurement we are using to establish that the first evening and the first morning were a 24-hour period? Any answer, any answer that you give, you will have to employ assumptions that you do not have the evidence to sustain. This would continue, this would continue all the way through day three. We have no idea how long it actually was. What I do know is that with the information that we do have is that the sun and the moon were created on the fourth day. And from this point on, we could probably intelligently infer that from this point on, of course, it could not have been billions of years. And let's dive into why I say this. Every year, the moon moves two inches away from the earth. If this were consistent a few million years ago, a few million years ago, the tides would destroy the earth twice a day. If it were billions of years ago, the moon would, the moon would have collided with the earth. So by this standard, I can intelligently infer that from day four and on, it could not have been millions of years. Scientists have monitored the Earth's magnetic field over the past 150 years. It has declined 10% over the last 150 years. So 7,000 years ago, it would be 30 times stronger than it is today. And 1 million years ago, it would be so strong that it would vaporize the Earth. With that fact, the Earth could not be millions of years old. Comments. Comets are made of ice, and every time they pass near the sun, they lose part of their mass. A comet could only orbit for a maximum of about 100,000 years before it completely runs out of material. And since we see fully functional comets riding around Earth, the Earth couldn't be longer than, older than 100,000 years. Now let's talk trees. The largest, the largest and oldest trees are about 4,000 years old. If that is the case, then how old can the earth really be? And in that same vein, the oldest coral reef is about 4,000 years old as well. Hmm. I wonder what happened about 4,000 years ago. Hmm. Maybe Noah, but uh, I'm gonna hold that for another conversation. But let's talk errors in dating. One part of a mammoth, one part of a mammoth was carbon dated to be 29,000 years old. Another part of the same mammoth was dated to be 44,000 years old. Really? Really though? A freshly killed seal was carbon dated to be about 1,300 years old. For real? Dinosaurs, they say dinosaurs lived 65 million years ago. And in one breath, a scientist would say that soft tissue DNA could not survive longer than 15,000 years. But in 2005, they found a T-Rex with soft tissue DNA. And after this find, they adjusted their opinion to soft tissue DNA could survive, you know, 1 million to 4 million years old. But that still doesn't fit because they dated the dinosaur to be 65 million years old. 
According to scripture, death didn't enter into the world until Adam, until he sinned. So animals nor people died prior to Adam sinning. So the long period of time after day four does not make sense. So when you look, when you look into the creation account in Genesis, I see a strong case for the first three days, allowing for long periods of time or age. But from day four on, it doesn't allow for thousands, definitely not millions of years. But I also do believe it suggests longer periods than just a 24 hour period. Either conclusion that we come to, we will have to rely on assumptions that we do not have the evidence to sustain. Any, any answer that you come up with or any answer that you set a heart stance on, you do not have the evidence to sustain that. And here's the other beautiful thing. I ended my last video just like this now and I'll end every single one in the series just like this. These are not primary issues. This is not an issue of salvation. Anything you believe on how long it took God to create or how long the Genesis account um, uh, took, any of those, anything that you um, assert does not adjust your salvation. And this has been another episode of Justified by Score. I hope you appreciate and learn from this content. If you have comments, like I know you always will, I will see you in the comments. Until next time, Lord willing, of course, peace and grace.